ex we expect the entertainer's body to be brought here to the now infamous Neverland Ranch, and we took an aerial tour to see what this mysterious, complicated, and controversial place has turned into. This is what Neverland looks like now. Fans will flock here this weekend, but it's nothing like the fairy tale that Michael Jackson had planned. Neverland was built by Jackson when he was 29. 2,800 acres of splendor in the California countryside, influenced by Peter Pan's mythical world, where children never grow up. It even had its own zoo. Jackson tried to make Neverland into a mythical world, once estimated to be worth more than $200 million, with all the thrills and dazzling rides a child could possibly dream of. Now it's all gone. The Ferris wheel, merry-go-round, bumper cars, all removed. It evolved into a home of alleged abuse. It became a financial nightmare. In 2003, prosecutors seized all Jackson's belongings, only to have to later return them when he was found innocent of child molestation. But this is a rare look at what was inside. A reported bedroom where children could stay and could only be reached by going through Jackson's bedroom. A reported windowless 8 by 7 foot room with photo albums and unmarked videos. And a wall containing photos of boys, including child star Macaulay Culkin. The now co-owner of Neverland has helped the Jackson family maintain a financial interest in the ranch. It still retains much of its beauty. Fans from around the world are already flocking to the Neverland Ranch and the owners feel they owe it to Jackson to allow his fans to come in enormous numbers to grieve. To me, I feel like this is the closest that I can be to him right now. It is tragic that the shrine that Jackson built as a place where people could remain young at heart forever will now be a place for his fans to come and grieve.